and uh, we are so thrilled to welcome you to the 2022 Imagine Cup World Championship. I am Tiernan Madorno, Joy Officer here at Microsoft. And I'm Donovan Brown, Partner Program Manager at Microsoft. We are joining you from Seattle, Washington, but our stage is filled with talented student developers from all over the world. That's right, Donovan. Imagine Cup is a worldwide competition for student developers who are using their imagination and ingenuity to build life-changing solutions with technology. No matter how daunting their obstacles, these teams remind us nothing is impossible if you dare to try. And this year, we've been following another set of remarkable students as we celebrate an exciting Imagine Cup milestone. This, this is our 20th anniversary. Oh, that's right. Over the past 20 years, more than 2 million student developers have participated in the Imagine Cup to build and learn together, make a difference in their communities, and innovate for impact. We have seen some amazing work from students across the globe, and this year is no different. We started Imagine Cup this year with tens of thousands of students from over 160 countries. A panel of expert judges had the unenviable task of determining one winning team within each region, the Americas, Asia, as well as the Europe, Middle East, and Africa region. They all have some incredible work to show, but only our champion will win the grand prize of $100,000 and a mentorship session with Microsoft Chairman and CEO Satya Nadella. Each team will have a chance to deliver their final pitch before the judges cast their votes to choose the 2022 Imagine Cup World Champion. Let's learn a little more about our amazing finalists. From Sri Lanka, Nana Shilpa developed an application that screens and provides guidance for addressing reading, writing, and math learning disabilities in young children. So Nana Shilpa, as we called as uh, Wisdom to Kids, is the mobile application-based solution to screening and intervention for dysgraphia and dyscalculia learning disabilities in primary school students. The basic idea of this project is simply in simply. First, we identify whether a student has the risk of the learning disability, and then we provide uh, for the refinement activities for that. Since uh, this is an application used by uh, children, uh, we have uh, considered about how to develop the application more interactive and more colorful to the children. We need to give them hope to their lives and uh, when it uh, when go through the, their lives in the future. Through this project, uh, we can you know change millions of children's lives all around the world. From Saudi Arabia, V Bionic designed a device for people with hand paralysis that combines robotics and neuroscience to provide recovery methods that are more accessible and 30% faster. I got into developing robotic prosthetic devices back in 2014, and this was primarily because of my experiences uh, in India. Paralyzed patients face a lot of struggles in their, in their day-to-day lives. These current technologies that we possess, not a lot of people can afford that. With ExoHeal, we combine robotics and neuroscience to provide affordable, 30% faster and accessible rehabilitation to paralyzed patients. I realized that I needed to involve more people in, that I needed to develop a team. Me and Zen were schoolmates, so I suggested him with the idea that through my expertise in fashion design and STEM, I was able to transform the exoskeletal design and make it feel like a second skin. My job is to make sure that the robotic device is connected well through the mobile app. Paralysis is a problem that over 130 million people face. Being able to use my skill sets to impact them and change their lives, that's what I appreciate about ExoHeal. Imagine Cup, it can uh, make our idea a reality. And from the United States, Melodic created an integrated system that helps children with hearing impairments access professional speech therapy at an affordable price. Hi, I'm Jing Yao. Hi, I'm Xiaoyang. Hi, I'm Shuo Xuan. We are Team Melodic. We want to provide a low-cost solution for children with hearing impairment and help them get the access of speech therapy. My aunt 
actually have the hearing impairment. She had the opportunity to receive a speech therapy when she was still young. A lot of people like doesn't have that opportunity, so that's why we came up with this project. The Melody Box is really attractive to those children. Have the children really use our box and see their smile face? It's kind of like achievement being made. What I'm feeling is very grateful that I make meaningful solution for them. That's my dream, trying to make some inference to the world using technology. We're excited and really grateful for this opportunity. Okay, guys, let's do this. <laughs> Judging these projects will not be an easy task. I could not agree more. Let's meet our panel of judges who are up for the challenge. Please welcome Linda Leanne, co-founder and CEO of Common Room, a rapidly growing startup that offers an intelligent community growth platform. Previously, Linda led product marketing and for serverless computing at AWS and worked as an associate for Madrona Ventures Group. And Kat Norton, known as Miss Excel, a talented entrepreneur and Microsoft most valuable professional who has catapulted from viral TikToker to CEO and founder of a highly successful online education business. And finally, CEO of Microsoft Gaming and head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, a Microsoft vet of over <laughs> 30 years whose team is behind some of the largest games in the world like Forza, Halo, Age of Empires, and Minecraft. Good luck, judges. All right, teams, it's time for your final pitches. Nada Shilpa, we will start with you. Do you know that 240 million children around the world go through learning disabilities? Out of those kids, 47% drop out of school. 42% will continue to have writing and numerical skill gaps. We live in a world where technology can address various problems. And that's what we are here to do today. Let me introduce Nanashilpa, an accessible solution which helps to eliminate the delay in learning disability discovery using localized languages. Here's our app Nanashilpa. It captures input from mobile device and process them using advanced machine learning and computer vision algorithms. If the kid diagnosed positive for the disability, through the app, we provide specially designed activities to mitigate the condition. The screening AI models are trained using thousands of data collected from the kids. The professional screening process to identify learning disabilities can cost around $400 to $2,000. Through Nanashilpa, its exclusive features allows you to have an early diagnosis at your home just for $60. We are on a mission to help every kid in the world to read and write. Thank you. Great work, team. Next up, VBionic. On one family vacation, I met my uncle for the very first time. I saw him struggle to perform simple tasks like brushing his teeth and buttoning his shirt. That was my first experience with a hand paralyzed patient. Primarily caused by stroke and spinal cord injury due to car accidents, hand paralysis is a problem faced by over 61 million people globally. To tackle this, we created ExoHeal, a robotic device connected to a user-friendly app to make rehabilitation affordable, faster, and accessible. When a movement is performed by the patient's good hand, a patent-pending robotic device as assists the palace hand to mirror the same motion. After each exercise, a report is then sent to the doctor. This enables the doctor to remotely monitor and guide multiple patients throughout the recovery. Patients can then undergo rehabilitation at the comfort of their homes. Utilizing Azure, not only do we provide remote therapy, but for the very first time, are introducing AI-driven rehabilitation. This enables patients to put in the right amount of effort and recover faster. We are targeting India as an initial market. However, hospitals across the country only possess around 200 rehabilitation devices for 1.2 million patients. We aim to bridge this gap with our portable and AI-driven recovery model. Moreover, we bring the price down from $15,000 to $1,000. After working with seven doctors, 
50 plus patients and over 4,500 hours of user testing, results showed that patients recovered 30% faster using ExoHeal. Let's help Palex patients heal with ExoHeal. Thank you. Holy wow, awesome <laughs> job, V Bionic. Now, Melodic, you're up. Every day, nearly 2,000 babies are born with hearing loss in the world. And research suggests that 80% of this group can improve significantly after speech therapy. Melodic provides effective speech therapy by leveraging Azure services. We provide support for children's speech therapy using interactive activities along with a portable device. Mouth shape training uses a camera to capture users' mouth shape. Breath training activity uses flex sensor to monitor users' breathing patterns. And sound training activity generates vibration patterns through the right side of the box. Progress can be easily viewed by parents, and pathologists are given access to data-rich dashboards and get key insights. Edge devices collect data during training activities that are sent to Azure. Data will be further processed and analyzed via Azure Machine Learning. Training activity results and statistics are presented through Power BI and App Service for parents as well as pathologists. A combination of big data analysis and physical interaction is a unique feature of Melodic, improving the quality of therapy care and we can keep low cost compared to existing products. With the collaboration of UDAP Medicine, our next step is FDA and HIPAA registration, and we will reach out to more therapy clinics and get their partnership. We are Melodic, building a voice for the ones you love. Thank you for listening. Great work, teams. Judges, what were your overall impressions? Linda, let's start with you. What you guys have done to combine you know, hardware, some of the most innovative solutions in software like machine learning and IoT, maybe a little bit of hard work <laughs> to build something that is novel, that you know, increases accessibility and really does save lives. That's a true inspiration to me and to the rest of the world. I'm just so incredibly proud of all of you and what you're doing and just bringing your gifts to the world and creating things. And I just find you all to be so inspirational and I'm rooting for every single one of you. At their age, I was not doing this cool stuff. <laughs> Phil, what are your thoughts? Neither was I, my friend, neither was I. <laughs> to see teams putting human needs first seeing how technology can make the lives of so many people better. And it's great to see the next generation coming with that same focus, so really inspiring. Judges, you have a tough decision to make. It is time to choose this year's champion. So go and cast your votes. Nana Shilpa, V Bionic, Melodic, all I can say is wow, amazing job. It has been an honor to follow your journeys this year. To all of our judges, thank you so much. To all the finalists, to all the student developers who competed this year, thank you as well. You've absolutely blown us away. Without a doubt, Tiernan, the pitches we saw today have inspired us so much that before we get to the results, I have an exciting announcement. In honor of the 20th anniversary of Imagine Cup, <laughs> I cry every year. Microsoft is going to add $20,000 for the two runner-ups. So no matter who leaves today, you're gonna to have funding to take your ideas to the next level. Amazing, congratulations everybody, congrats. All right, now what we've all been waiting for, it is time to crown our champion. Will it be Nana Shilpa? With their system for screening and addressing learning disabilities in young children? Or will it be V Bionic? With their accelerated accessible recovery for people with hand paralysis? Or will it be Team Melodic? With their integrated low cost speech therapy solution? All right, Ooh, it all comes down to this moment and I think I've got a magical little so-and-so in here. All right, y'all. And the winner of the 2022 Imagine Cup World Championship is V Bionic from Saudi Arabia! Woo! Congratulations! Well done! Thank you so much, thank you so much.
all the team congratulations for your hard work may you all prosper in what all we are doing well done again congrats to all the teams really incredible work to all the student developers out there keep on building our world is better because you are daring to try